hello today i'm here with the third first impression for this week and it is with the kaleidos futurism collection so the one we have left is of course the astro pink and if you haven't seen my other two first impression of the futurism future futurism one and two um, I can leave them down in the description, but I am doing a review video about the whole collection, so um, I'm not going to talk about or review this one, it's just like a normal first impression. So this is Astro Pink and I am so sorry for the seagulls if you hear them. fucking hate them okay so this is the astro pink and these palettes they look just amazing and this one looks like this so this is three shimmers but i don't think the black one is a shimmer i just think it's shimmer on it but when you work with it i think the shimmer will go away and then this one and this is i don't know now it's blue i don't know if you can see it but it is Do you see it purple now? Blue and purple and also this one. So I actually think I know what I want to do. So I will see me in a little bit and then we will start with my first impression with Astro Pink. Okay, so I will start with Stardust, this one, and put it in my crease. And I guess that this will perform as the other palettes. And I haven't swatched this yet, and I am like, maybe I should swatch it um, before I plan what I'm going to do, because the thing I am planning maybe doesn't suit. The colors maybe doesn't go good together like that, but I will. Maybe I will just wing it. Okay, I will try to do my first original idea and see how it looks. So I will take this one and that is Nebula, 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 Nebula. And it's one thing that I haven't done And this free looks one palette. And if you are known to my channel, I think you can guess what I'm going to do now. One thing I do a lot. I'm doing a halo eye. Of course I am. This shade was so pigmented and so creamy. These do not look the same at all. Why do I have such a hard time for this? Okay, I f <laughs> my first thought was to use this one. But this feels more like a topper shade than an actual shade. Or maybe not, but you see the finger swatch? Yes, I have tried to swatch it before. Do you see it's like... Not that opaque that I was wishing it to be, but I think I will try. I will try with this blue one, the Neptune, and we will see if this can perform on its own. It's can. I think it can. I think it can. But I think I have to really. Pack the shade on first. So I think that this works. You just have to like pack it on and not smudge it around. And I will go in with the matte shade. 
and take a little bit in my crease. I think I will go in with the crease color again. Just a little and do like that and blend it all together. Okay, this looks really good when I just pack it on but it's a little hard to try to blend out the edges so I think it's easier to go in with this matte shade and blend it onto this do the opposite but I think I like this so I will do the same on the other eye I am liking this one thing I want to do I want to put my brush on the floor. I want to swatch this black shade. I don't know if you can see it's some glitter still left but it's not like it's not like shimmery. This one so I will go in with <laughs> so much shadow. So I will go in with it on my outer corner. Just a little bit. Just take it out here. And maybe it's good if it's a little shimmer left to it. So it goes together with the halo. Or is it strange just to have a dark outer corner like that in a halo? Why do I do this? I think I just will have the black out here. Okay, so I think something like this. And now I will go and watch, wash all of this out. I will... Maybe I should have taken this as my halo. It's done, it's done. So I'm going to take this off. I'm going to fix my base and my brows. Take this off. And then I will come back and we'll fix the under eyes. And I will try to use all the shades in this palette as well. And I have these two left, so I will I will do something. So I will just fix everything except my under eyes, and then I will be back, and then we look at the end result. Jesus, just stop talking. I will see you soon. So for my under eyes, I will start with this one lunar it's the only one no i have two shades i have two shades i haven't used so i will take this on my lower lash but not only this i don't know this is maybe even too light no because i want to take the one i have here i don't know what color is this is it like purple pink I want to take that on my lower lash as well, but it feels like I don't want such a hard edge on it. And then I will go in with a smaller pointer brush and take this one. And that is Nibula. Nibula! How is the lighting? I don't know. Sometimes it feels like it hates me. So I want to take this close to my lash line. Like that. And then I take one shade I have left. This is light year. And <laughs> I'm going to, of course, put it in my inner corners. And this felt so so creamy when I swatched it and it is so I think this feels good so I will put on mascara and take something on my waterline I don't know if I want to take something dark or something light or something blue or something purple or something I don't know, I will check what I have, put on mascara, try to choose lipstick, and then I will be back with a complete look. 
So this is the finished look and for my waterline I used a pen that I haven't used in like forever and it's from Sleek and it's their Oh La La um, liner in Venom. It worked so good with the shadow and for my lips I used Liquid Cat Suit and Rebel Rose from Wet n Wild and I think it suits so good. So this was my third first impression with the third palette in the Futurism, Future, Futurism collection from Kaleidos Makeup. And this was the Astro Pink. And I really love how this look turned out, if I'm going to be honest. And I'm going to be honest. I really love it. The blue shade really worked. I just had to pack it on. I feel it would look amazing on like top of the black shade. All the shades worked perfectly. I'm so happy. So this was my third video about the Kaleidos makeup collection. I'm not going to try to say the name again. So yeah, I really hoped you liked this video as well. And my next video will be a full-on review with on all the three palettes, the whole Futurism collection and it will be swatches and everything so it will be a long video. So I really hope you like this video and if you haven't checked out the other two first impression of the other two palettes in this collection I will leave them down in the description and yeah I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos. Bye!